I got a quick AT&T network update for you guys. This one is FirstNet related. FirstNet, more than 95% complete new tech advances adoption. So I said this in the previous video that AT&T was at a very high percentile completed with the FirstNet build out now we have more of a more of a detailed accurate number 95 percent more than 95 percent complete so maybe 96 97 percent so they're at a very high percentile so that means the band 14 spectrum the 20 megahertz that they got from the government which is 700 megahertz is now on air just about across the existing footprint and i think at&t received about seven billion dollars in reimbursements for deploying that part of the network so that essentially is the spectrum that gives first responders priority in events of emergencies if there is no emergency the consumer is also able to take advantage of that spectrum so a few things that i wanted to point out well, actually, just one thing, actually, which I think is, is very important because now Verizon has real competition in that space, right? The the uh, the first responder. That segment has been dominated and still is dominated, you know, probably a little more than 50 percent of first responder agencies are likely still with Verizon today. So that has received a much needed boost in competition because now AT&T is also expanding the uh, network outside of their existing footprint at a good clip. So with 20 years left on its first net operating contract, AT&T is excited about the future. I just want to talk about winning together the folks who were the, who were here before the legislation was here. We call them first net 1.0. They're the originals, the folks who were here around the 56 states and territories adopting their 2.0. He said, noting those who adopted after it was passed are considered 3.0. And then the folks who don't have a number yet, you're 4.0, 4 the future. So this is this is a still a very important part of AT&T. Actually, I still think, and I've said this in plenty of videos, I think this is the most focused and most important part of AT&T that we've ever seen them on. So I know they were very focused and they were very adamant about getting media. That was something that Randall Stevenson orchestrated and he wanted that and he wanted to create this big media conglomerate. That failed, backfired. Now those assets are gone. Now they have to go back to their roots. They have to go back to wireless. FirstNet just gave them a huge boost on perception, right? There's still a little perception gap between them and, and Verizon, right? It's not much, but the perception still is Verizon has the better network, the more reliable network, the larger network. You can see it. You can hear it in the consumer's voice. You can see it within the agencies. A lot of these first responder agencies still say Verizon is the better network. It's still a fact. AT&T is closing that gap, though, very aggressively. And, you know, as of about, I think in 2018, there was an article that came out where Colorado said, hey, 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 I'm not going to use you as an agency if you don't have service in these areas. If you allow roaming on Verizon's network, then we'll use you as our first responders agency. And that was a that was a you know, that was a low blow to AT&T. They took that serious and now they have way better coverage across Colorado. So, again, big things ahead for this first responders uh, network through FirstNet. They have it for 20 more years. There is talks of, of some additional funding or reimbursement coming from the government along the way. Um, the amount isn't set yet, but they would receive additional funding to maybe further expand network or bring indoor coverage to certain places that will be funded by the government. But that's, you know, that's some of the advantages that AT&T now has through its first net contract. And it's it's big competition for Verizon. We all know T-Mobile's not 100% there yet. I know they compete in that segment now. They're bringing in some agencies, but that's at a very, very low percentage. 
they didn't even they don't even bring that up if you if you think about it in their um earnings call conferences they don't even bring that up because there is no competitive advantage as it stands right now for most part they offer the service for free and i don't think they're getting any large agencies to join them it's probably just more on an individual basis for now until their network can get bigger and actually scale to where verizon and at&t is they likely won't compete very big on that portion as it stands now make sure you guys like share subscribe to the channel follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions this is tyrone with tech life i will see you guys in the next one peace